In a new 48 Hours investigation, we hear from the family of a mother who wrote a children's book on grief and is now charged in her husband's death. Corey Richens is accused of poisoning and killing her husband, Eric, in 2022 after he died of a fentanyl overdose. Her attorney says that she maintains her innocence. So in a primetime exclusive interview with Natalie Morales, Corey Richens' mom shares new details about what she says happened the night Eric Richens died. Just take a look. In the early morning hours of March 4th, 2022, Corey Richens says she found her husband, Eric, unresponsive in their bed. She called 911 and then her mother, Lisa. She said, get up here, something's happened to Eric. First responders tried to save him, but it was too late to save the father of three. Did the boys know what was happening? They knew something was happening and they could see the ambulances and cops coming in. Very distraught. Lisa says hours earlier, the couple was celebrating a new house flipping deal Corey was working on. She told me she made him a Moscow mule. That's a drink made with vodka and ginger beer. Weeks later, police said Eric's death was caused by an overdose of fentanyl. But according to the spokesman for Eric's family, Greg Scordis, that didn't make sense. He wasn't an opioid user. This doesn't smell right. Lisa says Corey and her kids struggled. They lost so much. So Lisa says Corey wrote a children's book, Are You With Me?, that follows a boy who lost his father, but is reminded his presence still exists all around. Corey promoted the book on local TV. But a month after that appearance... A Summit County woman who wrote a children's book about coping with grief following her husband's death, now accused of being the one that actually killed him. Corey Richens was arrested and charged with murder. Prosecutors allege she gave Eric a lethal dose of fentanyl on the night of his death. Eric's family suspects Richens placed the fentanyl in that Moscow mule. He told his family, if I die, you need to take a look at her because I think she's trying to kill me. Corey Richens has maintained her innocence. Sky Lazaro is her attorney. They have to prove that she obtained drugs and gave them to her husband. And unless they can connect those dots, they're going to have a hard time proving murder in this case. So Natalie is joining us now from Los Angeles. Natalie, it's uh, always good to see you. Um, so I'm good looking to see at you. I'm looking at the pictures of this, you know, good-looking, happy family. They are both successful in business. What is the prosecution suggesting is the motive here? Well, the possible motive, as I think as we see with a lot of these cases, is money is the motive. According to court documents, Corey stood to gain around $3 million in life insurance money. Now, the documents allege that Corey desperately needed that money for her house flipping business. We investigate all of that in our 48 Hours report. And then what was happening in the time between Eric's death and Corey's arrest? Because it was, you know, a significant, is about a year that went by. Yeah, well, police uh, interviewed Eric's family. They say that they believe that Corey and Eric were arguing over this multi-million dollar property deal mm -hmm. that Corey apparently was celebrating. Eric apparently did not want it, according to his side of the family. Eric's family also told police that Eric believed that she was out to get him, that, as you heard his spokesperson say, if that, that he believed that um, Corey wanted to have him killed and that in fact that she tried, they believe, to kill him twice before with poison. All of these assertions again are recounted in court papers. Corey's family though, however, disputes all of this, said there is no proof that she tried to poison him in the past and that the couple had gone through their ups and downs but they'd never been happier. Well, this case made national headlines because of yes. sort of the irony of her writing that book, um, but this is kind of unique because it hasn't actually gone to trial yet. Where does the case stand? Yeah, this is a case that is uh, to be continued. The case still needs to go to trial. Currently, no date set, although we're told it probably will be sometime next year, and she currently is being held in custody. Mm. All right, Natalie Moraz, thank you so much. And thank you. And you can watch The People versus Corey Richens on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central on CBS, and, of course, streaming on Paramount+. Plus.